военные машины. Это на войну отправляются. Стоят уже, скоро их подкрепят. Поедут. Там их целый ряд. Вот уже тут стоял один ряд, их отвезли. Расчет к бою. Прицел 266. Уровень 2998. Угломер 5373. Навести, зарядить. Пушка, As Joe Biden announced his sudden decision to drop out of the 2024 presidential race on Sunday, speculations emerged in media about possible Democratic candidates who will replace Biden in the election. Vice President Kamal Harris whom Joe Biden formally endorsed in his letter published on X on Sunday, is the most likely Democratic nominee for president. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is another likely Democratic candidate to run against former President Donald Trump. When first running for the governor's mansion in the Rust Belt state of Pennsylvania in 2022, Josh Shapiro received more than 3 million votes, setting a state record. Another likely candidate is Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir. The name of the 46-year-old two-term governor from Kentucky has long been floated as one of the several governors could become the next vice president. Former Kentucky U.S. Representative John Yarmuth said Thursday that Bashir was one of three, alongside North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, in consideration. Some pundits and media outlets have also predicted that U.S. Senator Mark Kelly might be the likely Democratic candidate to run in the elections. The senator from Arizona, husband to former U.S. Representative Gabriel Giffords, had supported the Biden-Harris ticket and not withdrawn his support from the president. Another Democratic VP contender is North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Cooper, 67, is finishing out his second term as governor. North Carolina law prevents governors from serving more than two consecutive terms. Another 100,000 rounds of ammunition will be sent to Ukraine in July and August thanks to the Czech initiative, Czech Foreign Minister Jan Lepavsky said on Monday. During July and August we will send another 100,000 rounds of ammunition. We are now looking for money to purchase new ammunition so that the initiative can be continued in 2025, Lepavsky was quoted as saying by the Sesk Novini Agency. According to the minister, at the moment 18 countries have joined the initiative, of which 15 have already fulfilled their obligations and made their contribution. He explained that this means that there are enough funds to deliver 500,000 rounds of ammunition to Ukraine by the end of the year. On June 25, Prime Minister Petra Fiala announced that the Czech Republic had supplied Ukraine with the first batch of artillery shells in accordance with the Czech aid program to Kiev. Previously, he announced that the Czech Republic had already entered into contracts for the supply of 180,000 artillery shells to Ukraine. The total of 500,000 rounds planned for this year has already been financially secured. 
The Czech initiative aims to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with 50,000 to 100,000 large-caliber shells monthly, significantly boosting Ukraine's artillery capabilities amidst ongoing conflict. This effort represents a substantial commitment from the Czech Republic in supporting Ukraine's defense needs and highlights the continued international cooperation in providing military aid to the country.